Let's now look at question 11. Uh, the diagram shows electron energy levels of an atom. Which transition will produce a photon of wavelength 415 uh, nanometers? So here, uh, we could just directly do this. The energy of a photon is related to the wavelength by this equation, E equals to hc over lambda. Uh, we substitute in the necessary values. We should be able to find the energy level E in terms of joules. Right? We will find the energy in terms of joules. And if we divide this by... Right? If you divide this by 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19, you will get the answer in terms of EV. Okay? And that would help us decide which transition level gives this wavelength. So let's look a bit more at the specific calculation. Using E equals to HC over lambda, right? Using E equals HC over lambda, we establish, start with the values here. We get 4.97 times 10 to the power minus, 11, minus 19 joules. If we divide this, right? We divide this by 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19, we get 2.99 EV. 2.99 EV strongly suggests its transition is from 0 to the negative 3 EV energy level. So answer is B. Right? Look at that question again. So only B. B will give you the transition from 0 to negative 3, which will produce the wavelength of uh, a photon of energy 3 EV, which corresponds to the wavelength of 415 nanometers. Okay, answer is B. Question 12. Uh, atom makes a transition from an energy level E1 to energy level E2. And the, and the clue here is this. It emits a photon of wavelength lambda, which means that energy level E1 is actually higher than energy level E2. Right? So this is a little bit against the usual convention. Next, which expression gives this wavelength in terms of the Planck's constant and the speed of light C? So the energy of the wave E uh, will be equals to H C over lambda. The energy here is E1 minus E2 equals to H C over lambda. And they are looking for the expression of this wavelength. So lambda will be equal to hc over e1 minus e2. Okay. Uh, I believe the answer is d. Right. The answer is d. Okay. Moving on, uh, question 13. When electromagnetic radiation falls onto a metal surface, electrons are emitted if the frequency exits a uh, minimum value known as threshold frequency. What does the threshold frequency depend on? All right, look again. This is the equation H C HF equals to the work function plus EVS. When your EVS is zero, that means you are you don't need any energy to stop the electron, or rather the electron comes up with no velocity, you get H F naught equals to five. This suggests that the work the frequency, the threshold frequency depends on the work function, and we know that the work function depends on only the metal. Right? Hence the answer is D, the work function of the metal.